Today I am sharing the truth about whether or not you need to actually take action to be able to manifest your desires. And when you discover the truth, I think you're going to be pretty shocked and it's going to totally set you free from stress, struggle and hard work. There is so much talk out there about how to physically take action to manifest your desires. People are talking about fake it until you make it, acting as if, surrounding yourself with positive like-minded people, decluttering, starting morning routines and taking action towards your goals. And while there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of this type of positive action, the people who think that you have to take action in order to manifest what you want are missing a crucial part of the puzzle. There is only one way to manifest what you want and it's not by taking action. And the only thing that you need to do to manifest what you want is to imagine that you already have what you want. That's it. No amount of action will ever help you to manifest what you want if you haven't already imagined that you have what you want. But seeing as you're watching this video, I am assuming that you're interested in manifestation and I'm assuming that you have already used your imagination to manifest what you want. So assuming that you have done that already, what next? Do you actually now have to take action now that you have used your imagination to receive what you want. So once the process has begun, the automatic unfolding has begun, everything that needs to happen will happen automatically. That's why it's called the automatic unfolding. And you and your physical actions are part of the automatic unfolding and so is everybody else's physical actions. They're also part of the automatic unfolding and there's nothing that can stop this manifestation from happening. So it doesn't really matter whether you end up taking action or not taking action the result is going to be that you will get your manifestation. So people really worry about the physical action. Am I taking the right physical action? Am I doing enough? Am I working hard enough? And it doesn't matter at all because whatever action needs to happen will take place. It will automatically take place. This is called inevitable action. You might think that you have free will to decide what you want and when you do it, but actually you're very, very led by impulses and you are compelled to take action at certain times. There will be nothing that will stop you taking the action that you need to take to get your desires. Something will happen, whether or not it's your action, whether or not it's somebody else's action, whether or not it's a natural disaster, something bad, something good, whatever needs to happen, will happen in order for your manifestation to be received. And I'll give you an example of something that I have personally been working on manifesting recently. I found that I had gained some extra pounds in weight and I desired to lose this extra weight. Now I actually have another business which I set up 10 years ago which helps people to lose weight with a very specific diet. So I know that if I was to follow that diet I would lose weight. However, I decided that I want to manifest weight loss. I don't want to decide that I'm going to physically force the process. I want to manifest the weight loss. I'm going to imagine myself with the body that I want to have and then I'm going to let the automatic unfolding take place. I wanted to put this to the test with something that I have been very fixed about and I've had very strong beliefs about in the past. I wanted to know, is this going to work for me? Despite me having very fixed beliefs that you have to take physical action, you have to go on a diet in order to lose the weight. So I created this reverse memory, which is a memory of me looking in the mirror and being really happy with what I see in the mirror, what my body looks like. So I created that reverse memory and I played it through in my imagination a few times and then I just relaxed relaxed and knew that it was coming to me. I didn't take any physical action, I didn't go on a diet, I just relaxed about the whole process and waited and watched and was curious as to what would happen next. And I was spending a lot of my 
time when I'm doing chores and things in the kitchen, I'm often listening to audios, YouTube videos and that kind of thing. And I'm really interested in spiritual stuff. So I was very obsessed with listening to spiritual stuff all the time. I wasn't interested in anything health related or diet related at the moment. I mean, I have a lot of knowledge already from my years of being interested in it, but I don't, I didn't currently have an interest in learning anymore. I don't watch any like health YouTube videos or anything like that. It's all kind of spiritual stuff. So that's what I was doing. And then one morning, I think it was about a month later, um, I noticed on my YouTube feed, there was stuff in there about health and fitness. And I hadn't been searching for anything health and fitness related. So usually YouTube shows you more of the same kind of stuff that you're interested in. It doesn't usually show you completely random stuff that you haven't shown any interest in the past. So all this um, diet and fitness and um, health related stuff was popping up on my feed. And all of a sudden I noticed that I was suddenly interested in it. I suddenly wanted to watch these videos and get motivated about getting fit and getting healthy again. Something in my mind shifted. I suddenly felt compelled to take action towards my fitness journey. And it's not like I wasn't doing any exercise and I do eat healthy most of the time, but when you want to lose weight, then often something has to shift, either a shift in your belief system or a shift in your diet, a shift in your exercise, something needs to change. Some people do manage to lose weight without changing anything at all. They feel like the weight just naturally fell off them, but maybe they just had less of an appetite and they ate less without even noticing it. Some people feel compelled to go on a diet. Some people feel compelled to do more exercise or do a particular type of exercise or a particular type of diet. So it all works based on your existing belief system and what you feel would actually work. Some people are able to tell themselves that they can lose weight by eating junk food and overeating. And I am certainly not in that place yet and probably don't really want to get to that place because I do believe in eating healthy and that's just what I'm passionate about. So it fits within my existing belief system. And at the same time, I was feeling like I was getting a little burned out with all the spiritual teachings that I was taking in. So I felt like I needed a rest from spirituality. And the thing that, that came in to fill the place was diet and health and exercise stuff. And now all of a sudden, after about a year or two of not really being into preparing meals from scratch because in our rental we had a very small kitchen and I just got out of the habit of preparing you know very complex meals from scratch and all of a sudden I'm now interested in doing that kind of thing. I've just bought a rice cooker, I've, I'm inquiring about joining a gym, I'm getting interested in weightlifting again, I'm looking at different recipes, healthy recipes, I'm upping my protein content, I'm monitoring what I'm eating a bit more. And this is action that I felt compelled to take. I didn't need to motivate myself, I didn't need to force myself. It's inevitable action because this is what needs to happen in order to fit with my existing belief systems about how how a person would lose weight in a healthy way. And it works like this for absolutely everything. So you don't need to worry about what action you are going to take or what action you need to take to manifest. It will happen automatically. You'll just feel compelled to do something. So I encourage you, whatever you feel compelled to do, just move with it. Just go with your desires, go with what excites you, go with what interests you, because this is a path to your manifestation. Some things manifest with absolutely no action whatsoever. It's all within your existing belief system. Do you believe that if you set up a business, you will have to take some action? If the answer is yes, which for most people, almost everybody will be yes, then you will have to take action, but you will be compelled to take that action once you have created that reverse memory in your imagination. So you don't need to worry that this is going to make you lazy. You don't need to worry that this is going to lead to over for work, whatever you believe about how much work you need to do is what will actually manifest. So if you feel like you have a tendency to overwork to get your manifestations, then change your existing belief system. Start to manifest that you have got what you wanted 
with much less work than you normally do. And this is what we are focusing on this month in the Business Manifestation Club. We are focusing on inevitable action. So if you want to learn more about inevitable action and how to manifest and how to navigate through the action that a business owner would need to take in order to get business success, then I have created a course for you inside the club, which you can actually access for free for seven days. And the link to that is below in the description. I also have another video that I would like you to check out, which is called the easiest way to manifest anything. No techniques required. So if you want things to be easy, if you want manifestation to be easy, go and check that video out. And I have another video called if I was to manifest $10,000 a month, this is what I would do. And in that video, I explained that there are actually different, many different ways to manifest $10,000 a month. Some of them do involve work and some of them don't involve work. So you don't actually need to do work to take action to manifest money. So go and check that out as well. And if you would like to manifest fame, fortune and followers, then I have a free manifestation milestone board pack for you. You can get that in the description below. And I would love to know, have you ever manifested anything without taking action or did you ever manifest something and feel compelled to change the action and you just felt like you were just going with the flow in order to receive your manifestation let me know in the comments below and now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world